Stoops video? Okay, all right. I said I would fucking watch it. We're going to fucking watch it. Now, let's add a little bit of context before we do anything else, okay? We're going to look right now at how many people are playing the game. So, Lost Ark right now has 684,000 people playing the game. The lowest that it's ever been at today on June is over a half a million people. Go on Steam Database, what's the most popular game? You got it, Lost Ark. 700, 600, excuse me, 84,000 real players. Real players. The truth behind bots. In Lost Ark. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video on this channel. Yeah. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I should make this video or if I, if I should give it some more mm -hmm. time. But after thinking about it for a little bit and talking with some of my friends, I realized I should make this video. Um, I want to talk about the bot situation in Lost Ark. A lot of you guys are probably aware of the bot issue. And if you have experienced um, any of this or it has affected your ability to play the game whether you're playing on na west uh -huh. or maybe you're on a region that doesn't have a great population like eu west because it was kind of um opened up to kind of solve or attempt to solve some of the botting issues overflow. and just player numbers in general at yeah. the launch and now you're hoping to get maybe onto euc someday if any of that uh, sounds like an issue to you or something that you're experienced, please share the video with some of your friends, maybe on the okay. forums, Reddit, anywhere, and maybe we can actually push for some change here and if get only. some attention on this Imagine topic. That. I'd like to help out with that. So with your help, maybe we can do it. Now, if you're unaware of the bot issue that exists in Lost Ark, I'm sure you are uh, aware <laughs> we've seen you're it. playing the game. Yeah. But the bot issue uh, has been getting worse. And uh, right yes. now I have a Steam chart here on the screen. Um, at first glance, it actually looks pretty good. It shows 845,000. I think that the game is also growing in players. It seems like it is with the amount of people that are talking about the game and interacting with content about the game. But I think that the bots are growing at an exponentially larger rate. Like, I, I think that the numbers are authentic to a degree. No way. You guys don't think so? People are quitting, in fact? Look at Google Trends. We'll look at Google Trends afterwards, okay? Yeah, I, I do. I, I do feel like, yeah, I feel like the game is probably growing. Sure. Those in players currently online, uh, but a majority of those are bots. And it's actually quite interesting. You can see the launch. The main the reason why I think that is the amount of people that interacted. I, I should explain why I think this. Um, I, I, I think this because the amount of people that are interacting with content about Lost Ark on social media and also because of the amount of people that are uh, or sorry about in Korea is that Korean Lost Ark became much more popular and started retaining players whenever Legion Raids came out. And Legion Raids are coming out now in like NA, so I would assume that would follow the same paradigm. I think that's logical. Game having 1.3 million, the numbers kind of go down, like every game at a launch, and then it's starting to go back up. Um, it's kind of reversing now. But I would argue that a lot of it is botting, right? Every free-to-play game has bots. It's just part yes. of it. But Lost Ark in particular has a extreme use for gold. The game revolves around gold. And there's a lot of money That's to be true. made for these botting companies that exist outside of the US, maybe outside of Europe as well. Big money, big the, money. The US dollar big, big goes money. a long way. Even the Euro goes a long way. They're yep. able to uh, Even make a Euro. lot of money Imagine selling that. players, uh, RMTing and selling gold. Ooh, and we love RMT. The problem is, is now it's getting to a point where, again, it's locking players out of the game. In fact, I saw some of my friends uh, that were sitting in 16,000 player queues on NA West. <gasps> bro, because it's lit! Oh my god, we can't, we can't wait to get in, bro. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my god. Uh, it, it's nuts. It, this is what happened. Like, I was trying to do Vaulting like five or six days ago, probably less than that. And people were like, bro, I would play with you, but I, I'm in queue. They're like, yeah, man, me too. I can't log on anymore. There's too many bots. I Absolutely can't even log insane. in. Um, and this happened also at the launch of the game for EU. Yeah, now, there did. were a lot of players at the launch as well, but I'm sure there were a lot of bots. And EU had of a situation course. where it was one region that was undivided. There was no NA East, NA West. Right, it was and just EU. And the problem was that there were so many people that you couldn't get into the game, so then they created EU West. Yeah. And um, obviously, as people leave the game and things like that, you're now on EU West because you just wanted to log into the game, and you wish you were on 
<laughs> EUC, right? Because that's where everyone, the majority of players are at. And the same goes for NA West and NA East. I actually live in California and I'm playing on NA East because a while ago, I actually made a forum post. Let me pull it up okay. here for the video. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of this on the fly. Um, I actually wrote up a post where I, on January 14th, before the launch of the game, stating that I was actually worried about the health of the NA region. That was a long time ago. Uh, because the region was being divided, where NA West and NA East couldn't play together. And yeah, I, don't I like wasn't that saying either. that should have, there should be one region. That's what I would have preferred. Yeah, I saw would have happened too. with EU. Uh, I agree. But more so what I was proposing was the confirmation that Amazon would be able to connect these regions at some point, offer server transfers, uh, similar to what we've seen in Korea. However, Korea is just one region. Um, and the response that we got from this post, January 14th, was that they would do something like that, or they would look into oh, it, wow. or do what was necessary to ensure the health of a region or server. Well, I feel they like- They just need to combine servers if it becomes an issue. Like making people transfer and shit, a lot of people aren't gonna go through the effort of transferring because they don't want to deal with it. Names are region wide, so just combine the servers. That's what they should do. Now is no better time for those people that are sitting in massive queue times, mm -hmm. right? There are people that are sitting in queue times, 15,000. No, I, I actually, I, I disagree. I, I think this, the problem is the bots. Like the, the thing is like, if they can't deal with the bots, everybody is going to be in queue times before long, because here's the reason. If you, if your bots are making you money, well, then what would you do? Like if you have a botnet of a hundred bots and you're making a thousand dollars a day, do you know the first thing that I think about is getting 200 bots. And then whenever I had 200, I'd want 400 and then 800. And then before you know it, nobody can log on to the fucking server except my botnet. You know, that's it. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm basically buying and selling gold to myself. Uh, that's all it comes down to. Yeah, make bots. That, yeah, you make bots that can make bots. Exactly. Yeah, let the machines take over. Fucking Skynet. Exactly. Times and and not because be of real players, right? We saw it with EU too, right? Not because of real players, uh, but because of bots, third-party gold sellers. Yeah. That are like infesting the game. Um. And I wanted to talk about some solutions and some things that I thought were pretty important here. So I decided to create this little uh, just write up really quickly that maybe you could share okay. or get your eyes' ideas on it because I think it's pretty important. Um, the first thing I want to say... The first thing I want to fucking say is I don't want to go through eight different levels of fucking two-factor authentication because Amazon can't pay somebody to sit in front of the fucking Chaos Dungeon vendor in Vern and just ban bots. They're sitting there. They're just sitting there. The oh 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 Wait, oh man, I don't want oh, are these bots? I don't know. They're fucking bots. They're bots. Everybody knows they're bots. <laughs> you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Just hire somebody that's gonna get rid of them. It's that simple. I don't wanna have to fucking sign through eight different fucking levels of authentication because you can't hire one person that can sit in front of the chaos gate and ban people. It's not that hard. It's really not. It, it, it's, it's not, you can do this easily. That with Lost Ark is that it's way too it just costs easy money. to make an account. I just made another account. Um, and all you gotta do is just make a new Steam account. The problem is, is that we do get ban waves, right? We do get ban waves that do happen. They it's last like for Amazon 15 minutes. And Smilegate aren't doing anything, but what they're doing right now isn't working, right? It's not actually solving the problem. And the ban waves happen, but they just make a new account. Of course. Right? These bots, just they come back the next day. You can see some of the dips. Um, if you look at like... But they don't even miss a beat. They don't even miss a beat. They're like, you ban me, I'm back, bitch. You ban me, I'm back, bitch. I'm back, bitch. It's like, you know what the bots are like? Does anybody remember Hades from Trainwreck's stream? Does anybody remember Hades? It was like four years ago. There was this guy in Trainwreck stream that would come in and spam the N-word. And this guy, by the end of it, was using like asterisks 
and like ASCII letters and like a Norwegian keyword or a keyboard in order to make an E because Train had stopped all of these different versions. Like by the end of it, this guy typing the N word looked like somebody with like a bank account password. And he just kept fucking doing it. And it didn't matter how many times Train fucking banned him. It didn't matter. Train would ban him. He's back five minutes later. Train would ban him. He's back again. And then everybody in chat would be like, holy fuck. We can't get rid of this guy. It's nuts. And it, it, was, it went on for like a year. I don't even know what happened to the guy. I, am not, I don't believe that he just... I don't believe that he ever... He was, I don't believe that he was stopped. I believe that he just eventually stopped doing it. Yeah, he got bored because he was so tired. Yeah, he cannot be silenced. It was nuts, man. Uh, the video yesterday of all the computers, exactly. That's why Trade has sub on only. I, I mean, I think that's one reason, yeah. If Hades is going to do it now, he's going to fucking pay for it. Somebody's got to pay for Dead, Dead, Dead. Holy shit. It's expensive. And so, yeah, obviously that's the problem. It's people keep making new accounts. It doesn't matter how complex you make the authentication process. You can automate the authentication process. Anybody can do this. Uh, when these happen, but they, they, they instantly come back, right? Of the course. bots are instantly back the next day and they have minutes. so much gold at this point that they don't really, they could, they could get to tier three if they wanted to. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have been calling for stricter uh, policy on RMTing, right? RMTing is when you buy gold from a third-party website, real money uh, transaction. Oh, like it's not hard. If you RMT, they should delete all of your BOE items that you can get off the auction house, reset your engravings down to zero, and ban you for 30 days. The problem is that like RMTing in the game is a... It's like, you ever have a time where you have somebody permaban? No, I, I don't think permaban is a good idea. The reason why I don't think it's a good idea is not because I think it's too harsh, but because I think that it will not solve the problem. So Blizzard actually has the solution for this, and I actually agree with Blizzard, is that the solution that Blizzard has is they ban people for six months. Because if people get banned for six months, they don't want to start a new account because then they invest everything onto that new account and they want to play their old account, really. So they ban people for like a long period of time and then it reduces the amount of things that they do that are against the rules. Do you see what I'm saying? So banned advice is it possible? Not the first time at least? No, I don't think so. And uh, that's what I would do. That's what's smart. Gold buying, he was two-week ban. I think that like delete their gems, a fucking... Like, actually do something that regresses their character if they get caught for RMT. Like, if you know for a fact that they're RMTing, like, you have, like, this exists on the spectrum. It's like, some guy gets gold, it's like, ah, maybe he's RMTing, maybe he's not, it's hard to say. Maybe you don't do that to him, right? But if you know somebody's RMTing, fucking take the gems, put them in the garbage. Take the, take the, oh, wow, but I had legendary mayhem engraving. Yeah, you did have it. Wasn't that fun? Well, now you get to have fun getting it again. You know, that's it. Fuck them. That's the way it goes. Yeah, re yeah reset yeah, re them to tier two. I like that a lot. That's great. Um, outside, third party RMT, you should say, because you can Fuck buy gold them. in game. And some people have reported that they've, got, they've gotten three day bans or suspensions. And I think going forward, a statement needs to be made that it's a permaban policy going forward. Right? So if you get banned, it's permanent. Yeah, I think it should be three months. I think it should be a three month suspension. Uh, and also, like, it should be. Th you know what you should do? They should suspend you, and you should have an option. You get to pick your poison. Does your character get reset down to tier two <laughs> and you lose all your gold? <laughs> or do you take a three month suspension? And you make them make that decision right there. I fucking guarantee you that RMT would go down. I, isn't that good? I love it. Banned, right? So this is not for the bots, but for the players that are participating in third-party RMT because that is also That's a major cause of it. Do. The bots are able to make money because players are willing to spend real-life money. Yeah. Um, 
outside of the game and get gold for much cheaper. Now, another thing that I think is important, and I know they're reluctant to do this. I don't feel bad. Like, I don't feel bad for Amazon because, like, here's the thing, right, bro? This is a fucking pay to win game. You just spend real money, you buy crystals, you sell crystals for gold. It's pay to win, you buy gold. So, like, really, they're just mad because people are getting, they're cutting in on, on like, their business, right? So, like, I don't view, like, RMTers as some fucking, like, morally unjust evil. No, it's just that they're cheating. Like they're cheating in the game, um, and, and it's like you, if you're gonna if you're gonna cheat and pay to win, you're gonna have to do it by the fucking rules. That's the way it goes. Locking the servers. Yeah, I don't really feel. I'm not right? mad at them. Especially servers Makes that have sense. long queue times, like NA West. Yep. Um, at launch, we saw that. Right, we actually saw that at launch, where. They locked servers and they created new they servers. Did. Now I know they're reluctant to that do was that a again, bad and I know why they're reluctant to do that again. They should not do because that because number one, they don't. They have this huge summer event that's going to be coming up. They have the Vicus raid coming up. They're going yep. to have the clown raid soon after that, and they want new players to come back or get into the game. Well, it's like you shouldn't lock servers. You should just say like, hey. Like, I don't know how they can solve the problem. Like, any character created after the state has a queue time or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if the technology is, is, is there for that. But, like, ultimately, I, because people might want to play on a server. Like, let's say somebody's friends are all on one server. And then it's like, oh, well, I can't play this server because it's locked. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You can't play with your friends because they can't handle bots? No, in my opinion, I think that there is one solution to the botting problem, and that is Amazon spending real money to solve the problem by hiring people to look at the situation day in and day out. And if they don't do that, it doesn't matter. And they're worried about locking them out. But As the, only the issue solution. is, is that you need to do it, I think. They're worried about the long-term health of the game. I think if you don't do that, that's worse for the long-term health of the game. You need to do the launch strat where you lock the servers that players are active on, create new servers, and for the time being, while you try to manage the bot situation, yeah. funnel the bots there, right? and then offer server transfers. It's clear that the technology isn't there. You guys don't have the ability to do that because if you did, you could just do the launch strategy over again. And I think sure. they're worried that if they lock the servers, they don't want to create new ones and have another EUS situation. But we need to solve the EUS situation, I believe, right? That's an important issue. I, I think you what they need to solve is the bot situation. Solve the bot situation and it's you're not going to make an algorithm that solves this. It's not like you can hire some engineer at Google or Amazon who's going to figure this out because here's how you do it, right? So like, for example, um, uh, let, let me think of a way to, to way to put this. It, it's trial and error. So whenever you get suspended, hey, here's how you get around bots. A and this is how like I, I would do it at least, right? Is I would have a bot and I would document every single thing that that bot did and then every time that I had a bot get banned, I would change one thing in the programming. And eventually, I would figure out what the one thing that the, uh, that the detection program is detecting by process of elimination. Like, that's what, yeah, that's literally what they do. Of course, that's what they do. It's common sense. This isn't some fucking genius idea. This is literally trial and error. It's, it's, it's basic protocol need to have server functionality server transfer functionality or data uh, character data transfers mm -hmm. um but you need to lock the servers because there's no reason that real players should be getting locked out of the game due to bots you're gonna lose players that way right yeah i feel i think that's gonna cause more damage friends. to the game exactly in the long term right just some important feedback there uh, another thing i would say is they need to adjust the crystal the broil crystal the blue crystal to gold conversion rate so if you guys don't know uh know when you go into the cash shop in lost ark uh-huh i know about that you go to the currency exchange there's a description here and the game sets the value basically how many royal crystals when you convert royal crystals when you want to buy gold right 238 476 714 right they need to make it a more competitive value 
And I know on the bottom line, at any game company, I'm sure you, you know if you're a player listening to this, you're like, oh, they'll never, they'll never do that, right? They're going to lose money that way. But a lot of people aren't really interacting with this, I'm sure, right? You're probably losing a lot of money from players going to third-party websites and illegally buying gold, right? Here's what they should do is that they should make it to where the gold that you get, you get way more gold at max level from completing like Vaulton and like Legion raids and shit like that. That's what the real problem is. It's because people do this stuff and the other ways of farming gold are efficient. Because there will be a point in which the botters can't make enough money for the, they can't make enough raw gold for it to be worth spending their time investing in the game and continuing to uh, use all of their resources and technology to make gold in it. So if you increase the amount of gold in the economy and you make it to where it's much higher on like the top end of players and like for completing end game activities, it makes it easier to ban the bots and it makes it harder for bots to make money and break even. Like that's just what happens in your fucking new player experience. Not this really. needs to be a more competitive value. In other regions, it, it, uh, I remember when I was playing on, on Russia, it was, uh, it was but you got more gold for inflation? your royal crystal yeah not because of the inflation but because of the set value here right this needs to be adjusted to be something that's more competitive and if more players interact mm -hmm. with this system it's actually better for the free-to-play player rather than them going uh to the third party now i know, I know a lot of you are saying oh that means it's going to inflate and people are getting more gold yeah that's well true. the value of materials and engraving recipes everything and everything is already up. inflated if yeah. i go to the end 23,000, 24,000 gold for a grudge shit. is not reflective of the currency exchange value at 772. It's just not. This is, it's super. These, I, some of these items, I have friends that do busing and carries um, uh, in Lost Ark, and they price their busing or carries at the third party website value. They don't price it at what's in the, uh, in the cash shop. Right? That's what a lot of players are doing. And that's well, that's what happens, right? It's like as soon as people realize they can cheat and not get in trouble, everybody starts cheating. It's like in Mists of Pandaria, everybody had a kickbot. Like I was even thinking of installing one. I was. I was thinking about botting. I was like, well, Blizzard's not banning anybody for this. Why am I why am I playing the game as a real person, like a loser? I could be making money while I'm sleeping. Serious yeah, and then problem, everybody starts doing in my it. opinion. That's, That's a what serious happened. problem for the actual free-to-play player um, that needs to get solved, in my opinion. You need to make the prices more competitive. You need to have mm -hmm. players interact with the system more. And I think you'll end up probably making more money in the bottom line if players are using your system more often. Um, and with that, again, you need to offer confirmation that we will see region or server transfers that are going to happen at some point in the future that you're working That's on the technology to, to do it you're getting care you're yeah. able to export character data uh, you're going to merge regions at some point. You need to offer the confirmation because yeah, players that, are getting that's, deeper, that's deeper into the tier, and that's not fair to the player, right? That spent no. so much time progressing their character. Um, and as mentioned earlier in in, in my post that I wrote, uh, it, uh, we were told that you would uh, if if the health of the region or server was at risk or it needed uh something needed to be done it would get done well i think now is the time for something to uh, get done there yeah i think so um, absolutely finally the all low hanging fruit should be removed okay absolutely all low hanging fruit should be removed i mean stuff like this right like i can come over here okay I mean, there's no way that these, <laughs> these guys should be able to just sit here and hang out. I get it. You can't individually ban, like, every single bot. You yes, you can. Yes, you fucking can. I guarantee you, give me the tools that an Amazon moderator has, and I will ban every bot in a day. A hundred fucking percent. That's their job. Yes, you easily can. Basically none. Yeah, of course you can. Delusional, you actually can. No, no. Because, so here's what you do. You look and you see how are bots making money. Because you don't need to go to every island and every little nook and cranny of where the bots are. All you need to do is find the seven or eight different hotspots that bots are farming at and then ban them. And then once you detect a large population of people and, and in, at an irregular area, you go and check that too. And then also you follow the reports. If somebody reports something, you check it out. It takes 30 seconds and then you're done.
Like, are, are you dumb? No. Wait, you guys actually think that I'm stupid on this? They're bots. They're right there. Everybody sees them. Everybody sees them. Just ban them. That's it. You just get rid of them. Like, it, it, this is not rocket science. You don't need to be a Google engineer to look at a bunch of people with randomized fucking names and say, hey, I think these aren't real players. Ban two, two more sprout up. The problem is that they get to 60 or they get to 50. Stop letting them get to 50. Watch what they do as level as they level up. Figure out where the bottleneck is, where all of the bots have to allow themselves to be seen, and then you ban them. It's not fucking complicated. I think so many people are trying to turn this into some kind of like uh, unsolvable problem. This is a problem that is easily solved by real people. That's it. Then, then they level legit. Then, then yes. Then, then they would have to level legit. Then, then they're not bots. Have some people sit there all day, but you see it in RuneScape actually. Prosing is a manual um, solution. Yes, you need a manual I mean, solution. Just, they just hang out manual here on solution. every and on every channel. There's no reason they should be able to just sit here mm -hmm. on every channel. You got to get rid of them. You got to yep. get rid of them. And on top of that, if you go to the auction house and we just look at accessories, and I can go to tier one accessories. Yep. Right. Tier one accessories, and I can go to recent prices, things that have sold, sold 20,000 gold for a tier one wow. swiftness earring, right? That's 830,000. Oh my god, 700,000, 650,000. And I've seen crazier numbers. I've Wait, seen crazier holy numbers. Holy shit, I never saw this in different tiers. Holy fuck, right? This is how they raid captain going for 500k. Are you really telling me that you couldn't have a threshold or something like that? You're really telling me that you couldn't do this? This is, it's so hard, like, oh man, like, it, it's just, it's so hard to do this. How could anybody ever figure this out? It's so easy to figure this out. Like, you just look at certain items, you add in, like, a manual threshold that, like, if this item is sold for more than 100,000 gold, it's a fucking bot, and then you ban the people doing it. Sold. It's simple. That's not BIS. That's terrible. Yeah, it, it's, 830,000. I mean, how does this one even get away? This happened today. 613 as i'm recording this They're video fucking lazy. these have to be instant bans right <laughs> you know what i mean guys yeah, like it's like you're you're buying this look at this starting sale price eight hundred and thirty thousand gold do you really think that they can't add a fail safe in to detect something like that like it, it's just and if you ban people like that you'll un undoubtedly end up banning innocence which may lead to other issues legal and even pr they already ban innocence. We're already there. That already happens already. There's nobody who's selling. Like, what universe do you think exists where somebody has 830,000 gold in tier one and they buy a blue earring with it? But this is so dishonest. It's a very simple solution. You hire real people to identify where the bots are. How is it, think about it like this, how is it that every player knows there's bots and every player knows where the bots are, but they don't get banned? It's because they don't care. That's why. This has to be an instant ban. There's no way. Okay, there's absolutely no way. And that's the beauty of Lost Ark. You can literally track all of the uh, auction house or market sales yeah. and purchases right in the game. These have to be flagged for instant bans, permanent bans. And then mm -hmm. let them, you know, if the occasional wrongful ban, I mean, oh, I just posted, a, you know, some earrings for 830,000 yeah. gold and somebody bought it. You know, no Whoa. pun intended. Oops. Uh. Okay, let them prove it. Let them yeah. prove it otherwise, right? But I mean, come and, on. Uh, yeah, we let them prove uh, The thing is, like, I, I think that there's a lot of these things that happen because people are just so deliberately, deliberately disingenuous. They are intellectually dishonest. I don't care about a solution that 1% of the time bans people unfairly. I don't care. 
because 99% of the time it works and the 1% they can send in a ticket because right now, 100% of everybody is getting fucked over. Like, it, that's what happens. 100% of people are getting fucked over right now. It's common sense. On, Who's going to staff that? Come on, you guys. It's 30 million a month? What? These are insane. These don't make any sense. They're specifically low bid rates here because they don't want to have the... Uh, the deposit is based on the bid. Mm -hmm. It just sucks, you know? It sucks because the game's really fun. I love playing the raids with my friends. I love doing yeah. the raids with my friends. There's, I'm it's, working it's on some lit. cool stuff um, for the Vicus raid that I wanted to do. And uh, summertime's supposed to be a great time for Lost it's Ark. Crazy. It's supposed to be, you know, we're supposed to get a lot of updates. And It's crazy. Yeah, Lost Ark's a fun game for people looking for an MMO option out there. It is right? not. And it sucks to see it just get ransacked by third-party websites and... And uh, well, this is this is the kind of stuff people will say. Somebody in my chat says you can abuse it to get people banned you don't like. See an item they're selling on the auction house, just buy it for a ridiculous price. Some people find it worth spending gold to get you banned. For example, buying something from you at a high price. You don't have the name attached to the item that's being sold. So the only way that like it's just like these these are the logical fucking gymnastics, mental gymnastics that people go through in order to justify why common sense solutions don't work. You're so stupid. The fact is that if the person is buying it and putting it up there, they would have had to have put it up there at 800,000 gold in the first place. Nobody is doing that. This is not happening except for people that are trying to fucking buy and sell gold. Then on top of that, you don't have a name next to the seller, so you don't know what's being sold. You don't know that you're buying the item from the right person unless they tell you ahead of time what the item is. And if you're talking to somebody and you're trying to get them banned, well, then the odds are you probably don't have a conversation going with this person because you don't like each other. You can bid it higher. Oh, I'm sure that you can. You I, Actually, can you bid higher than the buyout price? I don't know if you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can't. No? Okay, pro that problem solved. Like, it's just, it, this is the kind of stuff, like, who's going to throw away, or throw around 800,000 gold? Like, people make, like, these fringe cases for why you should not do something that works 99.9% .9 of the time. It's nuts. You don't need a buyout price? No, you don't need a buyout price. You're right. Uh, you know, gold sellers and, and people RMTing like that. You know, it sucks. Um, but I think some steps can be taken to make yeah. it, you know, uh, resolve the situation. So uh, hopefully this video can help. Hopefully you guys can share it with some of your friends. We can get some awareness on this issue and maybe get their attention uh, on the topic. A bit more than what we've seen recently, I should say. So in yeah, any case, I would thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I think this is a big issue. I think so for sure. It works fine when you set absurd prices like 800K, but the issue is where you set the cutoff. Can they just do many smaller transactions, right? Obviously, it's not like if you sell it for this amount, it's going to suspend. The problem is that like you don't do you don't solve a problem like this with one silver bullet. You solve it with a lot of silver bullets. You solve it with the silver bullet of figuring out what the bot pathing is because the bots have to be in the game. Like you have to be able to see the bots. You know what I mean? At, at one way or another, you have to, you'll be able to detect them somehow. And so you figure out where they're all moving. And if they have certain types of names or certain types of gear, every single one of them, maybe you could send something to the account to make them sound, uh, solve a captcha or something like that. I, I don't think it would be hard at all. I, I honestly think that Blizzard is putting in zero effort. Or sorry, Amazon. Blizzard did the same thing with, with BFA. They're putting in zero effort. They're not trying. They have no interest in solving the problem. It, no, it's because Blizzard did the same thing. And then whenever Blizzard actually started banning people, a lot of the bots went away. The problem solved. That's what it is. Like, yeah, it's not that hard. Captures are great. Yeah, capture or something like that. Would you be able to ban people who are constantly online for a very extended period of time? No, not me by myself. No, you would hire. you would have to hire more than one person. That's right. You would have to hire more than one person to ban people. Of course, that makes sense. Look at the comment. Let me read the comment. 
Um, what's this here? Good video. Hope something changes the long-term health of the game. Um, the uh, gold game game economy being inflated with third-party RMT. Um, in that mind, uh, bots running rampant takes the fun away and more. I generally dislike dealing with making money in RPGs, and I won't use third-party RMT. Uh, yeah, it, it just sucks, man. Beautiful video. Thank you for caring. Uh, it just fucking sucks. Great video. Yeah, everybody is pretty much positive about this video. I'm not really surprised.